the best player in the world, Magnus Carlsen, takes on Dimitros Mastrovasilis at the World Blitz. Opens the game with one e4, and we have the Sicilian on the board. Magnus goes for the close Sicilian with knight to c3, and Dimitros brings his knight out. Knight to f3. Maybe Magnus wants to go for the open Sicilian, and now having avoided some of the lines, does play it. d4, pawn takes, knight takes on d4, and a6 is played. Now this line is very interesting. White can go bishop e3, bishop e2, also has knight takes c6. And all of these lines are pretty interesting and give white a nice position out of the opening. But Magnus is taking his time, which means that he can come up with a new idea here. What is he thinking about? His time is already 20 seconds below his opponent. But that's how Magnus does sometimes in the openings. He goes g4. Wow, that is interesting. This has been played before by Fabiano Caruana, but it is not at all well known. Very few games have been played with this move. The idea is to expand on the king side and cramp black over there. You can see all of black's pieces have not yet developed on the king side. And if the knight comes out to f6, you can already push it away with g5. It's now the time for Greek Grandmaster to think. He takes on d4 and Magnus takes it with his queen b5 look at the queen how nicely it's placed looking at the g7 square but black goes b5 and wants to play bishop b7 rook c8 queen c7 and it's not really unusual in the sicilian that black keeps on developing the queen side pieces before he goes for his king side pieces there bishop e3 magnus gets his bishop out and now dimitros plays his bishop to b7 magnus long castles there you can already feel that white is really ahead in development and is looking for ways to open up the position but it's not so easy to do so also magnus has a small lead on time he has two minutes 28 seconds as compared to his opponents two minutes five seconds now what does black do a good idea is to play your rook to c8 just bring it to the semi-open file and that's what he does rook c8 played and now magnus should go g5 because with that he is getting space and but he goes f3 and this is a mistake. Why? Because now black can actually go bishop c5 and you can no longer take on g7 because e3 hangs here. And he plays it. He plays there. Magnus goes back and now you can exchange on e3. And you know what black has managed to achieve is the development of his kingside pieces which was not at all easy here. Mastro Vasil is taking his time, but he's already down to 1 minute 30 seconds. He needs to speed up. He takes on e3. Queen takes e3 by Magnus and knight e7. Black has completed his development and wants to castle next. And then if he gets d5 in, he's better, in fact, in that position. So Magnus has to do something about this. He's thinking there and he plays queen d4. And his point is that I'm attacking g7 and if you castle here, then I will chop your pawn on d7. That's his point. So, Mastro Vasilis cannot castle immediately, nor can he do some move like on the queen side because g7 is hanging. So, he needs to make a move maybe with the f pawn, f6, blunting the queen here. We'll see what black comes up with, but look at the time. One minute for him, he plays f6. That's the best move in the position. But how does Magnus continue? Can he go g5 now? trying to hit here but then the knight jumps to c6 and hits the queen and already black is doing fine there so not g5 and now magnus has to come up with some other ideas you can play a move like king b1 which is kind of prophylactic in nature coming out of the c file but you you want to play something more active he goes bishop e2 completes his development but the bishop is doing nothing much on the e2 square black goes queen c7 and maybe now, somewhere, he is thinking about the d5 break. Because still, he can't castle the uh, pawn on d7 is hanging. Uh, what does Magnus do next? Here. The king b1, he plays it. And now black can actually go d5, which would be a nice move in the center. Defended with his knight and the bishop. Will Mastro Vasilis play this move? He's thinking there, but now... 48 seconds left for him. He goes knight to g6. 
and he's telling Magnus, all your dark squares are weak. My queen and knight are looking at it, but Magnus now hits the queen side. He's telling his opponent that if you take here, then maybe I get some thing to play with with the a6 weakness but actually taking here is a nice idea no he goes bishop c6 and what master vasilis is saying to magnus is that if you take here with any of your piece after taking here c2 hangs so magnus puts his queen on b4 and now knight f4 is a nice move because if bishop b5 there is rook b8 pinning here so black must find this move knight f4 which hits the bishop and gives him a good position there will Dimitros find it. He has 20 seconds. Magnus putting a lot of pressure and queen e5 is a mistake because now Magnus can actually take it. He can take the pawn and there's no longer pressure on c2 and he chops it off. Knight takes b5. If bishop takes, you have bishop takes b5 and rook b8. There's already ideas with bishop d7 check. So that's the reason why he goes rook b8 directly. But now very important for Magnus to keep his cool. He has 1 minute 10 seconds to work this out. The right move now is knight d6 check. The king has to move. He can go to a d8 but then there's knight f7 check. So he goes knight d6 and Dimitros instantly plays king e7 and Magnus has seen the next move. Bishop b5. What a move. If you play rook takes, there is knight takes b5. And if you take with the bishop, the rook is no longer attacking the queen. And there's a discovered check. He takes with the bishop and now Magnus can play knight c4 check. He does it. And with this check, the queen is hanging and black is losing the game. Such quick calculation by Magnus and he's won the queen. His opponent resigns. He has 56 minutes on the 56 seconds on the clock. Brilliant play by Magnus Carlsen and manages to win in just 23 moves against his strong opponent. The position was equal until move number 18. But in five moves, everything changed there. Magnus managing to show why he is one of the best and uh, when it comes to calculation and the best in the world when it comes to his chess.